to everybody who has kind of come on board over the past month, I want to introduce you guys to a progressive metal band that you may not have heard of, but you probably should have. This is one of those artists that are under the radar, but they are really poised right now to really kind of destroy that image of being under the radar and really trying to, to put themselves in a position to be one of those household names that we know about for years to come, at least in the progressive metal field, if you really want to you know, go all scholastic with it. The progressive metal field of study. Take Exhibit A, their newest album, Nebula, the band Hemina from Australia. I have to give a personal shout out to Doug from this band for not only hooking me up with the copy of the album, uh, but for also being a, a, a great personal confidant over the course of the past, I would say, couple of years. He's been a member of the nation, and I, I cannot thank you enough, brother. That is definitely really, really cool. And I want to give you even more exposure, because I've seen your stuff being, you know, heralded on Metal Storm and a couple of other uh, different publications and websites. So the attention is certainly there. It just is something that needs to continue to compound itself. And hopefully, I'm able to give you a little bit of that, and give this band, a terrific band, a little bit of that through this review. Now, Nebula is a an album that is really defined, as far as song titles are concerned, by just one single word. That's all that's really required. So, instead of having long and lavish established titles, it's something that's very simply put. Tracks such as before, or Lust, or Soulmates. Now, one thing I'm going to have to say about this disc, one thing that I'm going to really have to wax poetic about, the lyricism on this is fantastic, because it bleeds two things that I think that progressive metal could really use a lot more of, or really, it, there are two things that are utilized in progressive metal, but it's not something that you often see combined all of that much. One... There's a little bit of a space exploration or kind of a, you know, very otherworldly feeling to this, which is actually pretty well documented on the very final track of this album, which is entitled Otherworldly. We have heard of the space opera. We've heard of space metal. We all know who Star One is. At least we should. But combining that with a very romantic atmosphere, songs such as Soulmate, or, you know, maybe one that's a little more scandalous with a song such as Lust, these are two aspects that I don't think really couple themselves on the same album by a progressive metal band, or really a progressive band in general, all too often. Instead, this is something that is reserved, at least in my frame of reference, uh, to this album. And it's something that works very, very well for a couple of different reasons. For one, the musicianship on this is top-notch. If you're expecting great musicianship, then you need to look no further. This is a record for you to certainly check out. The guitar work is all very, very sound and I really have to praise another aspect that really kind of amplifies everything that's encapsulated on this disc, especially whenever you come to the lyrical themality, and that is the dueling male and female vocals. That is a touch that we have heard before. It's not something that is all of that new. I mean, from bands such as Lacuna Coil and, you know, after of that, we have certainly gotten a lot of groups that have kind of adopted this idea. But I really like the way that the boys and Lady in Hemina does this, how they handle this. This is one where she's also playing bass, but her voice blends well with Doug, almost as though there is a romance that is taking place on each and every track. Almost as though the two voices are meant to represent two characters in a, a greater story. A greater story about love, a greater story about despair, whatever the subject matter may be. These two seem to be the principal shareholders in one mutual collective affection. And that actually delivers a high level of honesty on this disc. That actually delivers a high level of humanity on this disc. And that actually helps to amplify uh, the overall good that... Nebula is able to really maintain. It's able to do this because there are perfections and imperfections to us all, but this is one that feels right. This is one that feels genuine. This is one that feels like it's from the heart. 
and the music that swirls around it is very, very well tailored for every situation. Some may say that the construction may seem a bit similar in points, but it's something where it seems to fit a proper theme. Something where it feels like it has a very everything-in-its-place feel, but an overall collective to it. Almost as though these are meant to be journals of somebody's otherworldly voyage, or maybe just their journals, period, where they kind of encounter everything from from lustful, you know, motivations to to a loving, loving soulmate, a loving, you know, partner, to exploration outside of the realms of either our universe or our own consciousness, taking things to a level that seldom is experienced by an individual, but instead of it being experienced by merely one, it's being experienced in a dual, in a dual sense. I think what makes this album work the best, what actually gives this album its crowning achievement, its, its real, I guess, icing on the cake, is just how flawlessly this feels and flows. The ebb and tide of an album is something that can easily, easily affect the balance of where it ends up on a, on a list or just really as a, a, a sound musical experience. Something that sounds too disjointed while trying to take itself seriously can easily find itself on the ass end of a low score, whereas something that is, you know, very well put together but poorly constructed musically can maybe expect the same fate. This is one that instead feels like, for all of the meticulous nature that was put into the musicality, for all of the meticulous, you know, nature that was put into just making sure that the vocals had that charm to it, that the vocals felt like real passion between two very talented vocalists. I must cherish and also praise very highly uh, the way in which this album was put together sonically and as far as the list of tracks is concerned. It isn't uncommon for the longest track on an album to be the last track, but it was certainly a highlight the 11 minute and 37 second track was worth every single minute, every single second. It takes its place and really serves as a real powerful and a real memorable closer, which if you have that lengthy t a period of time, you have to fill it with something worthy. And if it's going to be your final track, you really have to finish things on a level that's going to stick in a listener's mind. That's going to be very memorable. And this accomplishes that beautifully. But also, you have to have a listing that flows very nicely one to the next. And whenever I see and hear something that feels like it's telling a, a very loosely knit story, something that seems to be a very experience-based tale, even if it isn't meant to have any sort of greater concept, Whenever I'm able to kind of draw my own conclusions and perhaps build pieces together on my own, that's how you can tell that you have an album that also flows very, very wonderfully. Those who enjoy progressive music, those who enjoyed Isles from a month ago, whenever we talked about them, highly recommend those guys. Tremendous band. But I also have to add Hemina to the list. I have to. It's required. Because, damn, is this a shockingly good album. And it's one that's going to go right underneath too many radars. And that needs to not happen. This is one that needs to be spread around. This is one where if you are a, an activist or a progtivist, if you're an activist for progressive music, a progtivist, you need to ensure that this goes to those who you also know are active progtivists. This is one that needs to be known by all. There are a couple links in the description on how you can directly find Hemina. Doug is very accessible. Their Facebook page is very uh, accessible. You need to grab yourself a copy of this. This is one that's available now. It's been out for about a week. Remember a couple years ago, for those of you who've been around for a long time, whenever Sanhedrin ended up on the top 25 list, even though they were unknown by, like, four people? This 
will probably very well end up on my list. 91 out of 100. There's nothing wrong with this album. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Doug, thank you for this gift. I really appreciate it. That's all I have for you, brother. You said to me, thank you for your time and attention. No. Thank you. Thank you, man, for the hard work, the dedication of you and your band in producing easily 2014's unsung sleeper masterpiece. That's all I got.